Hello everybody and welcome to my 14th Intermediate Excel tutorial uh, and this tutorial um, is going to go into data validation um, which also means I'm going to show you how to do the drop down in a cell. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, this cell and I'm going to put some validation on it. So fill in the cell um, so if I'm well, what all data validation does is it just restricts the values that you can put into a cell. Um, so go to data and validation. You don't have to highlight just one cell. You can highlight a range of cells and it will do all of them. Um, but I'm going to do what just one cell. So um, this is what will come up and. Uh, the default setting is that any value that lets you put any um, kind of a, a, any value in that cell. If you click on the drop down, you see you've got a whole list of different things that you can restrict. So you can make it a whole number, um, and you can then set uh, as with the conditional formatting, you can set uh, it to be between something greater than something. Um, or, or less than something. So if I set this to greater than 5, click OK. So if I put 6 in, this is going to be fine. If I try and put 4 in, then uh, the value you entered is not valid. These are restricted values that can be entered into this cell. So, so I'm not able to fill that in. Um, you can also you can click on um, the error alert and you can change what is actually happening. Um, so uh, you can make it so you change the the type of um, thing here um, and you can then put in the title of the message and the, the error message. So title ah uh, don't do that. Okay so if I try and put this to four now then it's going to come up with my own uh, special message that I came up with. Um, so that's quite useful if you want to put specific information in there, like has to be greater than than five, and actually tell them what they need to put in the cell. Um, but let's just leave that as it is for now. You can put in a decimal. So the difference between a whole number and a decimal is if I, at the moment, because it's a whole number, um, put in 6.5 it's going to say ah I don't see that because it's not a whole number whereas if I go to decimal greater than 5 then when I put in 6.5 it's going to be fine if I put in 3.5 then it's not going to like it um, so that's how you work with numbers uh, pretty much the same for dates uh, greater than and you want to put a date in here, so let's put first of the first two thousand. Okay, so if I try and put a number in here, it's not going to let me because it doesn't want a number; it wants a date. So if I put in first of the first two thousand and twelve, um, then that's fine. If I put in today's date, um, and some of you might be trying to work out how I've made it put a date in that quickly, um, but if you press Control and semicolon together then it's going to put in today's date so that's quite useful to know if you press control shift and semicolon it's going to put in today's time if i try and put a time though it's not going to let me because my data validation is on also because i've set it to be a date greater than 2000 if i try and put in first of the first 1956 it's not going to let me do it again so that's how you use the date um, Time, pretty similar to dates, except you put a time in. Uh, text length means that it, uh, the length of the text has to be greater than a number. Um, so if I try and type in hello, it's not going to let me because it's not greater than five. Whereas I try and type in goodbye, then it's going to be fine. Um, it will also let me put in numbers if the numbers are big enough um, if I just put that to general um, but if I try and put in that many numbers it's not going to let me 
So that's quite a useful way of forcing people to put in numbers of a certain size. If you've got like, um, I don't know, if you've got an uh, account number for a bank, you can make people so they always have eight uh, characters in them, things like that. Um, so that's how you use all of those condition, uh, va validation methods. Um, the last one I want to show you is how to use the the list. Now, this uh, is how you create a drop down with a list. So first of all, I'm going to take off in the cell drop down, um, and I'm just going to do it as a validation. So this can mean that we put in that they can only put in certain things. So I can make it so it goes yes. Comma separates the the different uh, things in the list. So this is saying, however, it has to be yes or no. Um, so if I try and type that in there, it's not going to let me. But if I type in yes, it's going to be fine. And if I type in no, it's going to be fine. But if I try and type in non applicable, not going to work. Um, now, if I put click on this cell, uh, this option in cell drop down then it's going to give me the list um, as a drop down in the cell so that's really useful um, you can also make it reference a range so if I want to go yes, no or non applicable data validation get rid of this click on this little box here and then I can highlight my validation click OK and then you've got your drop down again then as I change these, uh, yes, no, non applicable, not applicable. Then when I click on my drop down, it's going to show up as yes, no, non applicable. Also, if you try and type something in, it's not going to let you. Um, but if you type in yes, then that's going to be fine still. Um, so that's how you use data validation. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you um, how to reference um, ranges that aren't on the same sheet, because that can be a bit tricky. Uh, I'm also going to teach you about defining uh, na names for ranges um, and for constants. So thanks for listening, um, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.